Good afternoon. We're here in Ridgeway, which is down off of Greenhill Way on Hayward Heath's southeastern outskirts. And officially, we're actually in East Sussex. So part of Hayward Heath is actually in East Sussex. Um, so you're officially, your local council is Lewis District Council. Uh, but right on the edge of town, we're backing here onto the houses which are on the Lewis Road, Hayward Heath. Um, so a nice spot there. The development has just been finished. It's all built by Wimpy Homes. It's a nice modern development, but the lovely thing is it's got lots of open green areas. And actually you can see this tree line going behind those houses down the bottom. That is, you've got pathways down through uh, Colwell Lane, which links with um, uh, Woodland and the Abbotsley Estate. And you can go for walks for ages. Um, now on this side of town, we're, we're sort of quite a long way from the nearest school. Your nearest school is probably Northamswood Primary School. However, they're meant to be building a school, a new primary school in Hurstwood Lane. So that's going to be your nearest school. But officially, because you're in uh, East Sussex here, you can also probably send your children down to Wivelsfield Primary School and also Chaley Secondary School, um, which is down in South Chaley. And there's a school bus pickup point um, over off of uh, the Wivelsfield Road. Um, the reason I'm telling you that, because Chaley School only has about 700 children in it. It's a very, very popular school. So you've got, you've got options here with schools. Obviously, the nearest school here in this side of Hayward's Heath would be Oat Hall Community College down in Linfield, uh, which is the one with the farm. So here you are. You're about to have a look at number 43, which is this semi-detached townhouse. The owners bought this brand new from Wimpy Homes in 2017, and they've done quite a few things to it, um, which I'll show you in a second. They've extended that out the back. They've also partially converted the garage. So the garage is still good for bikes and bits and pieces, uh, but you won't get a car in there unless you're going to reconvert it. But the other advantage is you've got two parking spaces with this, uh, with this house. So come and have a look. So it gives you an idea of the neighbours. It's a real shame because the sun keeps coming out. And now the clouds have come over. But uh, it's a nice day for it. Come inside. I'm just going to put my mask on. The owners have got really lovely tastes. And they've done all sorts of uh, nice modern touches to it. Including this stair runner, as you can see. But also, you can't really see it on the camera. But this is a lovely limestone floor. And they've run that uh, through to the kitchen and the downstairs loo. So first things first. We're here in the entrance hall. Here's the kitchen. Kitchen's all loaded, so you've got all the usual appliances built in in here. Modern range of high gloss units, fridge freezer behind the door, and quite a clever little breakfast bar. I do, I do like low windows, it gives not lots of natural light. They've got blinds up against the windows, but it gives you an idea. Great big understairs cupboard there. Downstairs loo, again, see what I mean? This lovely floor continues throughout. And then the sitting room at the back. Now that is all you get with these houses, it's just this room. But as you can see, if you look through, they've done the extension, which has given us this fab garden room with the bifolding doors. Now the limestone floor in here has actually got underfloor heating, which is actually on at the moment, it's really nice. And of course, you've got the roof lantern looking up at the blue sky when it comes back out. So a lovely room, and they've also done one of these lovely stone uh, tiled walls, which is really nice, if you have a chat, have a look at that. Beautiful, um, beautiful tiling got on there. And then the garage, well, this is what was the garage. So this would have been the back of the garage, in my opinion, been put to much better use as a home office. We all want lots of rooms. How often do you use the garage? And again, this flooring continues. And then what was left of the garage is here. So there's still plenty of room for bits and pieces. As you can see, you get a big motorbike in here. Bit of Eve storage space above. And it's a bit, these are a bit wider. A lot of these modern houses now, the garages are actually getting a bit wider than normal. So I don't know how wide it is. You'd have to look on the floor plan, but it's plenty of room to get various bits and pieces and the usual, usual stuff we put in the garage. I'll take you out in the garden in a minute, but they've had that all landscaped, real dream entertaining area. And then come upstairs. Like with all new developments, they're actually private estates. So you as the residents, actually pay to have the estates and all the play areas, the roadways and things like that maintained. Um, and in this case, you're paying, I think they're paying around about 300, 300, three to 400 pounds a year uh, to the managing agents who are HML, um, uh, I think it used to be called HML Anderton, but it's very well managed to stay. This is the family bathroom, fab big mirror, absolutely spotless. You've got the second bedroom at the back, which is beautifully presented very tidy and then we're overlooking the back so those big houses you can see through there they're on the lewis road and we are backing onto one of these wildlife corridors here which is a real bonus so that's all good but a lovely big bedroom in here 
full range of wardrobes. The young lady in here is keeping it very tidy. And then in the front, you've got the smaller bedroom, which is still a double by today's standards. Plenty of room for uh, various bits and pieces. Of course, desk or gaming table. And then come upstairs. This for me, I really love that back room, the, the uh, extension room, but this bedroom is fab. So you've actually got a, like a lobby down there. So you come in the door, then up to this huge bedroom and you've got really high ceilings. So as you can see, it takes an enormous bed, great big high ceilings. At the back, you've got a Velux window and a full range of wardrobes. If we look out the front, looking back down the road, and like I say, you can just about see those trees over in the back. Like I say, there's lots of, if you've got dogs, these people have dogs. If you want to go for a walk, you're out, on, you're out in countryside in no time here. So again, I mentioned big range of mirrored wardrobes all along that wall and the ensuite. So we have an oversized shower. And of course, basin and the loo there with another Velux window. So really lovely. So that gives you a pretty good inside uh, idea of the inside. As I mentioned, they bought it in 2017. The extension and the garage conversion was only done last year. Really well done. Again, just a quick glimpse, bathroom, and of course this huge second bedroom. I mean, in most of these houses, this is a very spacious three bed. A lot of these townhouses, this back bedroom would have been split into two. So that could be two bedrooms if you really wanted to. It's just a really generous three bed. But I think what makes this house is the extra space downstairs with these extra rooms. Then come out the back, grab my shoes. It's nicely presented. It's a shame it's not a nicer day or in the sun, summertime, you can imagine with those bifolding doors open right up, this is just an excellent entertaining space. Let me just drop my shoes down there and then come out the back. So like I say, they've had it all, oh, I could take my mask off now. They've had this all landscaped for an easy life. Big entertaining area here. You can see they've got a big fire pit. But a nice bit of space. When you come around the back, you get a better idea. So this is not the standard house. Really well presented. And I won't take you out there. Try not to slip over on the decking. But this gate just gives you an access on to one of these wildlife corridors. So if you've got a dog out the back, Follow it round into the woods, easily done. And that's looking sort of down the side of next door, which are a small little block of two bedroom flat, a little, a couple of little flats. But there you go, that's number 43 Ridgeway. We're out on the southeastern outskirts of town. So if you were to go down what was the Hayward's Heath Bypass, or is the Hayward's Heath Bypass, opposite the Birch Hotel, take the first left, that's Hurstwood Lane. Left again, you're coming back up towards the Birch Hotel. And then first road on the right is Green Hill Way. And this development is right down the bottom of there. So like I say, it's on the eastern outskirts of town. But if you like what you see and you'd like to come and have a look, please call our Hayward Teeth office. Thank you.